So for forestry is deemed um, a farming activity. So I suppose what's a farming activity? It's either crop production, stock farming, um, forestry or fisheries. So, so it come, it, you, you come under the heading of a farming activity. Um, so farming activity of, of that unregistered farmers qualified for a flat rate refund. So I suppose if, if you are a farmer, you, you're not required to register for that. Um, so you, you have no obligation to register for that. And what happens is that, like if you cattle sales or milk sales, um, there's, there's a VAT rate of 5.4% on it, and you get, that, you get that money included in your milk check or your cattle sales, and you'll also get it from Woodland. So it's 5.4%. That's the flat rate refund that you get. Um, and I'll go through after. There might be circumstances where you can claim VAT back, but normally you don't get any deductible, but you, you just get a flat rate of 5.4%. The normal farmer. Um, engages in agricultural production on land he owns or occupies and whose turnover from a non-agricultural activity does not exceed 35,500. Um, so I suppose what we're talking about there is that some farmers might have other activities. There might be, we have an example there, you might be running a pub, you might be an engineer, or you might have some other source of income, and because that income forces you to register for that, then as a farmer or a forestry owner, you, you, you have to register for VAT for everything that's under that tax number. So, if, so I suppose people have to be aware of that. You, you might be registered for VAT in some other sector, and if your forestry is in your own name as well, under the same PPS number, th then you could be forced to register for VAT, and then th that could have further implications down the line. So um, people would, would just want to know what other, if they're carrying on other activities, wh whether they have to register for VAT or not. If you're an unregistered farmer, um, the, it's 5.4% on 100,000 sale. So I suppose that, that, that again is the same with cattle sales, milk sales, and, and forestry sales. That's 5.4% 5, 5 on, on top of it. So I suppose you just want to be very careful if, if you're passing, if you decide to sell your, your, your timber to a merchant, you just have to you know, get clarification as how much you're going to get paid for your 100,000. So if you're selling it to him, does it include the VAT? or is it without the VAT? So like the 5.4% thing can make a difference of you getting 100,000 or 105,400 euro, where the VAT is, is exclusive, and also then there's a cost to the merchant as well, because more than likely they can claim the VAT back. So the, the, the VAT, the flat rate VAT, um, is 5.4%, it's but you'd have to be aware of it when you're doing your deal with, with the merchant. Farmers can claim um, VAT back and it's called the VAT 58 form. So, th so this is wh where farmers can, can get a VAT refund on fixed capital costs, so like farm buildings and structures. And then there are also other items like land drainage, land reclamation, hedgerows, underpasses. So on all these items, farmers can claim VAT back. And obviously, forestry is classed as farming. So if, if, this is your, if, if you incur these costs, you can claim the VAT back. So I suppose. Um, the main thing is to make sure that whoever is doing it, that, that it's invoiced in the proper name so that you can claim the VAT back. Now, um, the revenue have kind of changed. You, you, you can go back four years to claim VAT back. So you can still go back four years if you incur these costs and, and claim the VAT back. Um, there has to be a VAT of over €125 Euro in total in the claim. Now, previously, you could fill them up manually and you could do four years together and send it into the revenue, whereas from the 1st of January 2019, now you have to do it online. So you have to submit the invoices to the revenue. Um, they want it all online, and then, and then they've, 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 they've kind of said that you can only send one year at a time. So like if you, if you had an invoice dated December 17, or an invoice dated e, January 18, previously you could send them all into one return. Now you have to send one return for 17 and one return for 18. But, but I suppose it's important to know that, that you can claim that back on these capital costs. Um, so, so it's just be aware of it and make, make sure that you claim the VAT back. Um, as I suppose I mentioned earlier, if you have to register for VAT, then, then, then there are different VAT rates for the types of timber and woods that, that you end up selling. So timber, timber sales are 23% for both cutting or standing timber, including Christmas trees. Firewood is 13.5% and forest and land is 23%. So. Um, that 23% is a very high rate there, so you want to be very careful if you have to register for VAT, 
maybe because of another source of income, all of a sudden when you're selling your timber, you're going to have to charge 23% and pay it back to the government. So I suppose you want to liaise with whoever's buying it from you, that if they are registered for VAT as well, they can claim the VAT back. So in, you know, if you're selling it for 100,000, you know, make sure you put the 23% on top of it, that you still get your 100,000, you pay the 23% to the government, and then the, then the company buying it, if they are registered for VAT, they claim it back. So you, you, know, you just want to make sure that you have your background done if, if you have to register for VAT.